Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick and in today's video we are cutting clutch 16. Pipped on the same day as clutch 15. They were laid the same night, pulled the same day, put in the incubator. One was put at the top, one was put at the bottom and they pipped the same day. I bring that up because at least my incubator is consistent, top to bottom. Uh, typically you would see maybe it's a little hotter at the top, a little cooler at the bottom. So maybe the ones at the bottom go a couple days more. But I'm happy that they pipped on the same day. That's what I'm getting at here. So, this pairing was a big pastel female to either a clown male or to a, uh, to a leopard pastel pied. So, we'll kind of figure out who the dad is based on if we hit any super pastels. Um, we'll, we'll have to see kind of what happens. I, she only had like one lock with the clown boy, but that's, you know, kind of why we keep records. So you know and you don't lie. Uh, just like my last video, as you saw, uh, I had a super pastel banana het clown male who 15 eggs in this year paired to het clown females has not proved out. Could I have missed the odds that terribly? Probably. Mm, highly, highly unlikely. So, Let's go ahead and let's cut, cut open clutch number 16. Let's see what we hit. Let's see if we can get any leopards or, you know, we'll obviously have a lot of pastels, I would think. So let's get right into it. Okay, we're going to try something a little different here since the camera woman is uh, still at pottery class. I know it's been like a week for you guys, but uh, just a couple minutes here. So let's go ahead. Let's cut this open. What do we got? Um, that would look, oh, well, look at that ringer. I'm going to say that the leopard, uh, I think that that could be a leopard, leopard het pied or normal het pied, but that's got a ringer on it. So I think we know who dad is now. That's pretty sweet. I like that. I like finding out answers that quickly. And then up here, this is a little dude that pipped. If you can see its head, I think that that might end up being a super pastel het pied. So I guess really in this clutch, we're just kind of hoping for some female heavy, but we shall see. Um, you know, I, I actually don't know. I don't think that that's super pastel. I think that's just pastel. Hey buddy. Gorgeous, gorgeous snake. Alright, let's get into this one. Some of these are a little bit more full than others. This appears to be the fullest one left out of the bunch. I really would like to hit... Okay, see that's... That's super pastel. That's got to be super pastel. Don't know if there's leopard in it or not, but that's definitely super pastel. And I'll show you guys. You can kind of see the difference in color there. That's definitely super pastel. That's gorgeous. Don't know if it's got leopard in it or not. This definitely is a leopard het pied. Now that I'm looking at it. Oop, get it in camera. Definitely a leopard het pied. So that's awesome. Want to hit... Uh, I like leopard het pied. Um... Well, I like leopard pied, but you know, you gotta have ingredients to make that. Um, let's see, what do we got? Wow, crazy ringers on, on these babies. That's wild looking to me. That is uh, pastel. Uh, so I wonder if this isn't pastel leopard then. This, this might be pastel leopard since it's so dark. Not totally certain. Gonna have to wait till they crawl out the egg. I haven't done a ton with pastel, so um, IDing it is easy once you see the head, and then kind of getting the color tones from there is just you know that's kind of part of the game. So let's go ahead. Let's cut the next one. Oop! Did not mean to do that. Yeah, that's a leopard. Okay. Definitely a leopard. Really, honestly, happy we have not hit any uh, normals yet. And I say that, and we're going to hit a normal. So, but either way, 
we have done pretty good. Would have thought that there would have been a few more super pastels with both parents being pastel. Um, but I guess, I guess it, it is what it is. Hey, there we go. There's our normal, I think. That's wacky looking though. Yep, that's our normal. I called it. I knew it was coming. All right, last egg here, last baby. Let's see what we get. Here we go. And leopard. Wow. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens uh, when they crawl out. But definitely. Uh, definitely happy with the clutch though. I'm, I'm, I'm very glad that the leopard pastel pied is the one who got her. This one you can tell is definitely, it's got to be leopard het pied with a really awesome looking ringer. One super pastel, leopard, leopard, normal. I, I think that's just pastel. And then I think you have pastel leopard. So I think we had a pretty cool like little uh, mix of the combos here. So super happy with that clutch. Um, I do really enjoy hatching a lot of heads. Uh, I think that heads are good for a lot of people, uh, especially like het females and then maybe like one or two het males. I think that they can help you a lot further in your projects than you think. And you can get them for a cheaper price than a visual, which is kind of part of the game. But what you can also do is, is it, even if you're just trying to stack some codoms in there, well, now you can put in leopard, pastel, het pied female into something else whenever, you know, to buy a leopard pastel pied, you can take whatever money that was and then maybe go out and get an orange dream fire het pied female or, you know, get a couple females for the price of one visual that are all het pied. Longer odds, but you're also going to be producing m much cooler stuff in the long run. So, uh, I'm a big fan of heads. I have a lot of heads here. I have a lot of heads coming up even, like not, not, not from when I first started breeding or anything like that. I have a lot of heads still in the making. So I'm a big believer in heads as long as they actually prove out and you buy from someone who actually is, you know, not going to lie to you. So that's very important. But anyway, enough rambling. Um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Really cool clutch coming up next. It's our bongo female to our clown male. So we're really hoping to hit some bongo het clown females. Uh, probably keep one of those. Uh, even some males. I probably wouldn't keep a male, but I hope I hit a couple males. As much bongo as possible. I think bongo clowns are insane. So I'm really excited to cut that clutch. It should be pipping in probably two or three days from now. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more egg cuttings. And until next time, guys, stay safe and stay positive.